Yes, we do a lot and Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, like and share. I don't know why it's been in my heart to talk. I don't know. I don't talk like this. But don't you ever give anybody the power to make you less of a, a woman that you are. So please, please. Zupaniki Zweike Do what you love doing. Empower yourself. Try and empower yourself. Try and learn. Try and nothing is e easy. Forgiving is not easy. Nothing is easy. But I'm talking about yourself now. I'm talking about yourself. I'm talking about yourself. I'm, I want you to love yourself as a destiny. See, forgiving is not easy. Do what you love, irrespective of what other people. I'm not saying you should go out there and do evil. Don't do evil. Whatever it is that makes you happy, please do it. Don't you ever, ever, ever give anybody the power don't you ever think that you are lesser than you are don't you let nobody tell you otherwise whatever you're going through whether you're going through divorce whether you're going through things in um in your relationship in your marriage whether you're going through things in your parenting your your children are giving you headache you know when they when they are when they get to teenagehood and they start giving troubles and all of that whatever it is that you're going through if you die life goes on nobody will they, they will not, they will just cry for one week or two weeks and life will go on life will go on enjoyment will go on so we will miss you when you die but enjoyment will still go on. Stop beating your wives, men. It's really disheartening for somebody to lose. How can you take the life that you did not create? Who are you to beat somebody? Who are you to beat somebody? To the extent that the person will die in your hands. And you will leave for what? Women are not second class citizens. You have to stop men. Women are not second class citizens. And women, they go through all sorts. They go through abuse. They go through a lot. And after all of these things, somebody will come. I marry second wife and join. <laughs> hey, you know, or you will you will raise a child, and next thing you will know that you, you will hear that this child is doing drugs, that this child child is joining armed robbers and all of that. So, motherhood is a calling. But then again, I want you today to decide that you should take care of yourself. You should take care of yourself because nobody will take care of you. We are doing a great job. No mother is perfect and don't even try to be perfect. Don't try to be perfect. You can't get perfection anywhere. And if anybody is, it's okay to shout. It's okay not to agree with people. It's okay. 
Please take care of yourself, mothers. Your mental health is important. It is important. People are... I, 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 I know how many women that are my DM. I know, I know the things I hear. I know what they go through. Their men, your mental health is important. Some are committing suicide. Men, for Christ's sakes, take care of your women. They are going through a lot and you do not know. You don't know what your wife is going through. You don't know what your mother is going through. Because they will all come again and they will paint their faces. And they will come and slay for you. And they will show you that which you want to see. And for those that have mothers, please take care of your mothers. I, I lost mine at the age of 55. Sometimes I wonder why, why didn't God allow her to stay a little longer for me? I wonder why didn't God allow her to stay a little longer for me? So that she, she will enjoy her, the fruit of her labor. Small, just small. Mothers are there crying, praying to God, fasting for you, and you're there messing up. And you don't even appreciate them. And when they talk, you talk back because you feel I've made it in life. Please. Um, please. I just want to encourage every mom in the house and... I just want to say that you are doing great. And I just want to tell our women, please stop with the judgment. Stop with the judgment. It could happen to anyone. The thing that happened to that Christabel woman. It could happen to your daughter. Or your sister. Or your nephew. Or your niece. Or anything. Anybody. Please, do your best to raise those kids. But then again, don't start living with guilt. Some people will live with guilt for the rest of their lives. You know, start, don't, some people will live with guilt for the rest of their lives. Oh, I, I didn't do well as a mom. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. You're doing a great job. And may you be alive to eat from the fruit of your labor. Your selfless labor of love will never be in vain. I'm urging the, 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 the husbands to please love your wives. Take care of them. Pamper them. Yes, we talk too much. Yes, we, we, we do all these things because we love you. They say, ah, oh, this, this woman is talking too much. This woman is doing this. This woman is doing that. This woman is checkmating me too much. This woman is, 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 is nagging me and all of that. We do all these things because of love. And women, please, easy. Easy on the nagging and all of that. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself if you can Focus on yourself. Build yourself up. Go back to school. Learn a trade. Make sure you have money. Make sure you have money because of the abuse that will come. Make sure you are doing something with your hands. They are being abused sexually. Uh, spiritually, physically, emotionally, everything. They go to all this abuse and yet they stand, they go to, to, to work. You know? So please, mothers, Zukwanike have come. 
to tell you to Zoike. Don't go and be thinking about this man that wants to do this or maybe your husband is chasing girls and all of that and, and you get high BP and you die. If you die, they go marry another wife. Oh. They will marry another less than one month. <laughs> in less than one month, they started dating. And in less than three months, another person will come. Take care of your life. Take care of yourself. Do that which makes you happy. Do that which makes you happy. Do that which don't go and be depressed over what I don't know. Yes, it's not easy. It's not easy for anyone. It's not easy. It's just mindset. Well, I've been like Jiggy Bello. Now it's getting scarier than I thought. So days after the David Nagy's birthday, the actress deletes all her posts on Instagram. Honestly, this doesn't look good at all because um, days after her birthday, now she's um, uh, she deleted all her posts on her Instagram page. No post yet. And I'm wondering what is going on. Because this is really scary. And honestly, this is really, really scary. I swear to God, it is scary. Probably she wants to stay off social media, but staying off social media now, warrant deletes. Ah, I don't even know. I don't even know. Because honestly speaking, I miss... <laughs> No, I love Jennifer Benaji so much. Like, I really, really love her so much. And I'm saying things like this is really scaring me. Honestly, it's my business. Yeah, it's, it's my business. This is the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell for more latest gist and share. Bye-bye.